chairman chairman of the PB18 Mr. Sultan Al Mismar secretary general of the ITU Mr. Haulin Zhao other elected officials of, of the ITU honorable ministers heads of delegations distinguished delegates ladies and gentlemen it's a distinct pleasure and honor for me and my delegation to be among you in this modern city, Dubai, to participate in the Plenipotentiary Conference 2018. I want to, to uh, first thank and applaud the host country of the United Arab Emirates and Emirates and city of Dubai for their gracious and warm welcome. I would also like to recognize the ITU leadership led by Mr. Uh, Haulin Zhao, who have been preparing for this event along with the host country since BB14. The host country and the ITU leadership together made this impressive gathering very successful. They have done a tremendous job and deserve our, our gratitude and applause. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here to, uh, to take this talk and recommit to our union's shared commitment in the development of ICT uh, sector across the world. We, have, we seek to develop and promote ICTs because we collectively understand it is essential contribution to the betterment of human development and progress. I would not dwell on enumerating or describing the role of ICT uh, of, and benefits of ICTs because we will understand that. However, we believe a lot of work needs to be done to ensure that the development of IT, ICTs lead to shared prosperity because in a world of harvest, and have not any good spread in the stability, the ramification of which will affect us all. As we continue our effort towards the implementation of the Connected 2020 Agenda, which is action line is sustainable development goals and forthcoming ITU 2020-2023 strategic plan, it's worth reminding ourselves of the transformational technological changes upon us and how we can harness the positive aspects of new and emerging technologies while we put in place policies and mechanisms that mitigate the risk inherent in a connected world. For some, the next big thing is harnessing the, uh, the promise of the technologies that underpin the fourth industrial revolution, while others in my country include are concerned about being left during a period of tremendous rapid technological transformations. Recognizing the important role of government policy and regulatory interventions in mitigating market inefficiency, our government undertook a set of policies based on our national development plan that led to the passage of a communication law and, create an, and created an independent regulatory authority with the aim of creating a conducive environment for investment in infrastructure and access, which we view as essential fundamental imperatives. Our government recognizes that ICTs form uh, the bedrock of socio-economic development and good governance. Therefore, we are committed to creating opportunities through the development of ICTs for our people that would allow them to participate in the global economy. However, Somalia and many other developing countries cannot overcome alone the many challenges their society face in hyper-competitive global technological order. We believe it is in the best interest of developed and less developed countries alike to cooperate and collaborate while we recommit to our shared goals in the ITU strategic plan with action lines and sustainable uh, and development goals. Finally, Somalia has resubmitted for adoption during BB18 Resolution 160 assistance to Somalia which has been endorsed by the Arab and Africa uh, regions in their common proposals. We respectfully ask all member states to support this resolution so that Somalia can rebuild its ICT infrastructure and capacities. Somalia is committed to support the activities of the ITU and will co uh, cooperate and collaborate with the fellow member states to advance the global ICT agenda we hope that those whom have experience, knowledge, and expertise will share for the benefit of all. Shukran, thank you.